Okay, welcome back guys kira's kickstarter adventures here we go there's some interesting projects here at least i hope there are there's some that have been funded a lot 1.3 million dollars with 23 days left to go which is an insane amount of money considering they only asked for 43,000 pounds and they've raised a milli so the full last game this one's called friday night funking and yeah let's take a look holy shit that's loud whoa sounds like a fucking danny brown album I had my drugs this morning guys so I don't know if it's just me that's currently being this feels like I, I'm being clockwork oranged this feels like they force my eyes open and make me watch this and then I'm somehow going to start believing lizard people uh, are running the world This is subliminal. Oh, so people like the game. Millions and millions of views. Friday Night Funkin. I've never heard of this. Time to kickstart this bit. Is this just the trailer? 20 new weeks, 60 new songs, new mechanics, cutscenes, two player. Cool. Playable characters. Okay. I don't think this is. I don't think this is telling me what the game is, so this is probably something you watch if you already know what the game was. It's a rhythm game that doubles as a playable cartoon. You have your girlfriend, but her folks don't dig you. Uh, ain't that the truth? Always. In fact, they downright hate you, okay? They're getting real now, and it doesn't help that they're literal demons. And if that wasn't bad enough, it seems like just about everyone is looking to get in the way of you two enjoying some funkin' peace. Hey, that's, that's cute. Uh, this isn't a game by suits or poses. This is a team of artists in our Newgrounds looking to make the Dream Newgrounds game they've always wanted. And we're not alone. We've already gotten the help from other long-term, long-time talents such as uh, Senior Pello, uh, Johnny Utah, Meowling, and many, many others. The development will continue to be driven by friends, fun and weird-ass ideas. Other games are too wimpy to try. Uh... I, I really don't know what this game's about, but either way, they've absolutely smashed the cock off all their all their goals. Let me just pull up a video of the actual game from before. Okay, so it's like... So it's a, it's a rhythm. I like rhythm games, to be honest, and this does look super super nice it's just very nicely stylized the music's good so it's it's a battle they're having a battle so this is basically just a i guess it used to be a a new grounds game i used to fucking love new grounds back in the day anyway but yeah that looks you know i'm probably not gonna back it but either way it looks cool looks looks fun uh, Odd Fauna, Secret of the Terror Beast. These have raised also a considerable amount of money. They wanted £25,000 and they got 103. Oh, I can already tell this is cute as fuck. Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm Emma St. Cartier and I'm the creator of Odd Fauna and the art director for the game. Hi, my name is Cliff Mitchell. I'm the project director and developer. And this is our Kickstarter for Odd Fauna Secret of the Terror Beast. It started with a painting, a painting that planted the seed of a world where strange beasts roam. A whimsical wild land teeming with life. A world where everything is not always as it seems. So are they living on the back of this thing? 
you play as an aster, a very special odd fauna. You have the ability to sculpt the landscape and grow wondrous plants. The game takes place on the back of a giant creature we call the Terror Beast. Yeah. As an aster, you develop a symbiotic bond with your living world. You have complete freedom to choose how you want to play. I mean, this looks incredibly cute, but... Oh no. no. Why are you attacking the Oddishes? However, oh, that frame rate's bad. Every action has a direct impact on your world, both good and bad. Oh no. If you tend to your Terror Beast, it will grow larger each year, revealing more to explore. That's a cool mechanic. The world can be dangerous at times. You'll face unruly weather, harsh temperatures, strange beasts that lurk in the night. Oh no. Even the, even the enemy it is important to look enemies to look cute. Help if you are to survive. You must farm, forage, and craft to shape the land and uncover the secret of the Terra Beast. I really like the idea for this game. We have chosen to create this game in a unique way. All characters, plants, and objects in the world are hand sculpted and painted by me. Cliff photo scans the models to use in game. We love that it gives it a more handmade, almost stop motion. Yeah, yeah, that's why that's why the game looks so odd. I was going to say the game looks odd, not bad. Uh, it just looks different, which is not a bad thing. I don't like. Feel. I don't dislike different. In game, the world is procedurally generated, which means that each time you create a new terror beast, the world is unique. It also allows us to simulate changes to the world based on your actions. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out our rewards, and we have lots of exciting stretch goals planned. Thank you for your support. With your help, we can make this game as amazing as possible. I like it. I like it. I don't know how much I'd play. Maybe it's like a, you know, one of those relaxing games where if you got like anxiety or something, you just bang this game on and play for a little while. It just looks very um, basic, very cutesy. Not not against it. They've raised all, all their money anyway, so I'll look forward to it if it releases. Unbeatable, a game where music is illegal and you do crimes. What's with all the music games recently? Interesting. So this is asked for forty thousand pounds and they raised one hundred twenty-six thousand and still got half of it to go. That is loud. I already immediately really like the stylization of this game. It's kind of confusing with trailers like this. It's like the first one was just an audio uh, sensory overload. This is kind of the same. Like, I don't really get to see what, what the game is. All right, so the pink hair girl with the microphone in the middle of the screen is beat, and she is you, and you only have to worry about two buttons, up and down. On either side of the screen, enemies and obstacles will advance in high and low rows. When they touch the lines on either side of beat, you hit up or down accordingly, and beat will hit them hard. Okay, so fairly simple game. This is unbeatable, a game where music is illegal and you do crimes, and this is how it looks in action. Sometimes enemies come at the same time in both lanes. Sometimes enemies need more than one hit. Sometimes they need a whole bunch of hits. And sometimes you need to hold down one button while hitting the other button sporadically and paying attention to other notes that disappear before you can even get your bearings. That's just how these things go. And if you can't keep up, B can't keep up. Right, it's a really well-made trailer. Up, she gets hurt. And if she gets hurt, well, let's not focus on that. We're getting too in the weeds here anyway, because that's only half the game. See, when B's not doing all of that, she'll be exploring an open cityscape with an active day-night cycle, uncovering secrets, playing mini-games, talking to and helping out or not helping out the locals and rehearsing with her band for the set list she'll be building out of the game's 100% original soundtrack. And this game sounds fantastic.
I like this. I like this. I think this is real cool. Yeah, I can, I'm not surprised that got funded. That looks real cool. Uh, very nice aesthetics. Very warm as a game. And the music's obviously great. I don't know about the gameplay, how much I'd like the gameplay, but yeah, I'd definitely check that one out. These are not funded. It's a turn-based RPG set in a fantasy world of gods, spellcraft, and turmoil. Currently raised 12,000, got 25 days to go. So they've not done bad in five days. That frame rate though. I love a good turn-based RPG, not gonna lie. They cut us off before we got to see the impact to the combat there. I mean, as long as this game's got a good story, like, it's it's kind of hard to fuck up turn-based combat, honestly. I don't think it's that difficult to make turn-based combat, like, serviceable. So as long as the game's got a good story, it looks interesting enough, but you don't really... You're not ever really going to get a feel for a game like this without actually seeing the game played properly and not just, like, a, a super cut of a trailer. It looks interesting. It's not something I'd back personally. We've already got quite a lot of games like this, but I always do enjoy playing them when they come out. It's a short trailer as well. Oh yeah, this looks cool. Oh yeah, I, I really like this. I think I'm going to fund this. Car walk. Yeah, I think this is my next funded game. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna fund this, I think. This looks I, I like simple games like this. This is so, like, realistic to deliver as well for a Kickstarter goal. Like, and the game just looks f fucking cool. The the aesthetic, the fact that it's co-op, uh, definitely my kind of thing. RPG elements with equipment, uh, skill trees, story, different characters. Yeah, I'm, f I'm leaving that one open because I'm funding that one. Okay, so yeah, Blue, this is the one that they, they emailed me to check their game out on Kickstarter to obviously give it a little bit of a boost because it's so close to funding. They've got 11 days to go. There's no way this doesn't get back to like another thousand, two hundred pounds or whatever they need. So we'll we'll take a look anyway. It's quite a unique art style. Well, it's quite odd looking. This looks pretty good. I'm not as into it as I was the... F That's cool, I can use your abilities to like... Uh, change terrain and everything. I'm not as into it as I was the... The one previously. But this, this doesn't look bad. This looks pretty good. Definitely looks more in depth than the other game. But I'm not as much of a fan of the visuals. But it looks way more... Uh, involved, I guess the word would be. What the fuck? Oh yeah, it's, it's a, a little bit more cooler, cool now. How the background's like part of the game. Yeah, 
yeah that looks cool looks looks like a good game so this is bulletville uh i wasn't gonna include this because i already watched it on my twitch stream because people tricked me into watching the trailer before telling me it was a kickstarter game because i usually save kickstarter games for these kinds of videos but i'll throw this in i've already watched well, it but I am there you the go richest man in the universe and i bought a planet welcome to new montana a planet filled with treasure on the edge of the universe home to badass outlaws from across the galaxy Space bandits! Let's give them hell! Bounty hunters! Woo! Baby, I've been waiting for this! So this obviously looks and is presented as the most uh, polished one. It, it looks like a real big game company's made this game. It, it looks real nice. Voice acting seems good. And it looks to be like a hero arena shooter. I'm not 100% sure on that, but that's what it looks Assassins. like. Assassins! This will be my finest work. Robots! This is gonna be awesome! This is gonna be awesome! Mercenaries! Gear Tooth is ready! Thanks to a nutritious breakfast! Cosmic Angels! I've already picked out my field research playlist. Angry Teenagers! Murder Dogs! The maps look really good. Whatever this thing is! <laughs> Dumbass! So, I've been a game developer for 20 years. I was making Flash games, mobile games, Facebook games, puzzle games, hundreds of games for clients as a freelancer or part of other studios. But for 16 years, I never made my own games. That was gonna change. So, I made a character called Willy Punch. Tiny cat, super powerful, super violent, mixing Batman with Goku. OP, and he could do all the nice stuff. Grapple hook, double jump, triple jump, dash, uh, run on walls, yeah, cool all the nice stuff game. from platforming games. At the same time, I was working in a tower defense game set in the Wild West, sci-fi, whatever. Cowboys, ninjas, priests, aliens, all the crazy stuff. And I was pitching those games to publishers. I sent, I don't know, 500 emails and uh, I didn't get any traction. So I thought, I need to do better than this. I'm going to combine the two. I'm going to have my tiny crazy cat and all those crazy characters in the Wild West in the same universe in a third person, high locomotion, parkour, hitter shooter. It's going to be the biggest game ever. I'm that crazy. But we did it. It's freaking done. So I was able to put together a team of super talented people who've been with me on the ride for the last four years. And thanks to them, the game is now playable and you're in beta stage. Bulletville has a phonetic combat from an arena so, shooter. An amazing look. So that's really cool that they actually put the game together and it's playable now before putting it up on Kickstarter. I always like when companies do that because too many times you get a Kickstarter and there's no game and you back it and you don't get to play anything for multiple years or never. So, commotion yeah, to rival cool. any other game out there. Grapple hooks and a growing cast of heroes with different abilities. And it's not a one-trick pony. We have many game modes and a growing universe. Let's do this! New Montana is the only place in the universe where you and your friends can wage bloody, fast-paced parkour combat! All in the name of fame and fortune. Live like a king or die an awesome death. Bulletville, the action is here. So when I watch- I'm Tarvos Wayward and I approve this message. So I hope you okay, like I'll it and please support the campaign and help us making Bulletville the biggest and most badass game ever. It's gonna happen. You and I. Make it happen. See you in New Montana. I don't know if it will or not, mate, but I, I admire the confidence. Um, so when I saw this trailer, it was linked to me, not the Kickstarter trailer, so I didn't get to hear the guy's input on it or talking about the multiple the multiple game modes and stuff like that. I thought it was just going to be like an Overwatch uh, get in, you know, pick your, your team, picks your heroes, and then you just battle it out, and I wouldn't have been interested in that whatsoever. Uh, a little bit more interested in it now, and it's nice that they have a... I would be interested in, in trying this out. I don't know how you do, but I'll look into it. Either way, yeah, cool looking game, definitely high quality, and yeah. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. I have a Discord if you want to come check that out. It's got a bunch of people in there. We play games together, talk about games all the time. I have Twitch, stream every couple of days, talk about games, watch videos, 
and play games. And then I also have Patreon if you want to support me, my content further. Give me a couple of dollars every month, get your name in the end credits of the video. Uh, other than that, no real benefits, but it does help me out a lot. So leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one, hopefully. Stay safe out there. We're out. Peace. Thank you.